All right, um, you've been here before. You've been the underdog, you know, against Felix Diaz. Showed everyone, you know, obviously odd makers. They can't always be right. You defeated them, you're here again. Can we talk a little bit about the training camp and, and what this fight means to you? I mean, well, training camp, obviously, I, I always uh, rise to the occasion for every camp, for every fight. Um, and yes, I've been in this situation before. I mean, I was reading some spreads. I was actually a 14 to 1 underdog. Um, same same odds as the Felix Diaz, so it's not my first rodeo. I've been here before, and can never count the underdog out because we, we saw it last week. What happened with, with, with uh, J Rock and Rosario? Which I had the all, utmost respect for J Rock, but you know, it just it just if you have two good hands, anything's possible. How do you feel about this weight, seeing that you're moving up and facing someone who's considered pretty big for this weight as well? Yeah, I mean, an opportunity to present itself to fight someone like Jerry Hurd, so I can't turn it down. Uh, yes, I, I'm, I'm a campaign at welterweight for most of my career and fought a lot of the elite fighters in, in, in the welterweight division, but when, uh, when an opportunity like that uh, is presented, like I said before, it's uh, I can't turn it down. Uh, so I said yes. I know they choose me for a reason, but I also picked him for a reason. You know, so I I agree to fight him and, and, and try to display uh, a side that nobody's ever seen from me before. Do you see any weaknesses from the fight from Hurd had with J Rock going into this fight? No, I mean, you know, I think J Rock was just a better man that night, um, and it happens. It's boxing, you know. Um, I, 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 I seen some stuff, and I'm sure people seen some stuff on me. Uh, I seen a lot of strengths of his, you know, so it's just tuning in on Saturday. What did you make of uh, Jared's performance over the last week? I mean, I, we were all in shock, I was in shock, you know, considering that J-Rock, uh, since, since we fought back in, you know, 2011 or 12, uh, he's improved so much. Uh, I actually, I actually pick up some a couple moves from him, you know. Just, yeah, man, you know, he's improved so much, and and that fight, I mean, that's why you know Rosario. I seen him fight before when he fought uh, Nathaniel Gallimore. Uh, I just think you know, uh, he was just you know, the, the, the wrong game plan, uh, but. He's been there before and I'm sure he'll bounce back again. Like you said, he's obviously bounced back before. Um, do you think the Jared Hurd fight was just made for him? Or do you, do you see him coming back uh, and winning another title of the division? Um, would you, do, you, do you think Jared Hurd was made for him? Obviously he bounced back and fought for, if, uh, faced Jared Hurd. Do you think it'll be the same moving forward or do you think you know he won't win the title? Because we'll, we'll, we'll find out this weekend, you know, I mean, he has the, his first fight back since, since the J-Rock fight. So people, um, it's hard for, you know, some people, you know, they fall through depression and it's hard for them to bounce back up. So it, it all depends of, on, on what was, you know, if anything was taken out of him from, from his fight with J-Rock, you know. So we'll, we'll, we'll have to wait and see it uh, going forward from that. You know? Final message to fight man. Everybody just tuning in on Showtime, you know, I know I'm, the, I'm a big underdog and there's been a lot of uh, big upsets lately, so I'm, uh, I'm here trying to, trying to make my Rocky story, you know, uh, my, uh, Rocky 2 is my favorite movie, and the, the best quote was when the Duke was telling, uh, when, the Duke, when the Duke was telling Apollo Creed, he's all, he's all bad for us, baby, and the man just keeps coming after you. See my man get hit before and kept coming after you, so um, expect similar, that from me. Expect that from me. You know? Awesome, thank you very much. Can you talk about how you prepare for Jared Hurd's size and what he brings to the ring? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you know, you, you think that I'm moving up to, to the super welterweight division right now, isn't it? At least, you know, fight an average 54, you know, fighting the biggest 54 pounder, you know, uh, out there, but, um, I just, you know, we prepare with the, the intense sparring. You know, sparring is key because it's the closest thing to a fight. You can hit the backs, we can do, do the drills, do the mitt work, but um, the closest thing to a fight is, is, is sparring because it's 
that's basically it. So I, I, I spar with tall dudes, big guys that were pushing me around and giving me, basically giving me a hard time. And that's why I, I needed to get comfortable to be able to do that. Perfect. Anything else, guys?